There was a pre-trial conference in Albuquerque today for a man accused of killing a little girl. Now, he wasn't actually there, but the child's family was there, marching in front of the courthouse. Kim Bias reports they are doing everything they can to make sure the accused killer does not get off easily. It's taken my life. She was my life. She was my everything. Tracy Martin is the grandmother of Emma Rose Gonzalez. She was just 22 months old when she was killed, allegedly by her mother's boyfriend, Daniel Aragon. Doctors say she had bleeding in her brain, retinal hemorrhages, and severe trauma to her abdomen. It happened last November in Aragon's southeast Albuquerque apartment. Emma's mother says Aragon woke her up, saying something was wrong. She found Emma unresponsive. When we hear it on the news, we say, oh, I, I'm so sorry that that happened to that child. Well, when it comes knocking on your front door, it's a whole different story. Today, the family marched in front of district court as Aragon's case went before a judge inside. This case still faces a long road, but the family doesn't want anyone to forget what happened. This isn't all about Emma. It's about the many other children who die the same way. Unfortunately, there are way too many of them. Shaking baby syndrome is, it's everywhere and it's happening a lot in Albuquerque. Monica Griego says her daughter suffered the same type of injuries as Emma, but her daughter survived. Now she's marching along with this family to bring awareness. After Emma's death, the family learned Aragon had quite a criminal past, including drug charges, something Emma's mom didn't know about. She will never be the same person. She has to live with that inside of her. Why didn't I see this? They just hope others in that situation will act before it's too late. If you see bruises, if, you, if the baby's acting weird, um, you need to not be afraid to make, make that phone call. Kim Baez, KRQE News 13. Emma's mother was initially charged in the case as well, but the grand jury did not indict her.